Hello everyone, I, Anna Khan, once again proudly welcomes you back to our Balaji online classes. I hope you all are fine at, at your home and you all are keeping very, very safe. My dear students, today I'm going to be illustrating you your first chapter of class 6th English 2. That is your chapter number 1, the sentences. So, I hope you all are having your book and this is the uh, very first chapter which we will be discussing today. By the end of this chapter, what all we will be knowing is that what is a sentence and what are the type of sentences. Yes, we have a brief content. So I'm going to be briefing you about the same. What is a sentence? I'm 100% sure you all must have been uh, reading and learning in your previous classes about all the things. So uh, now when I say what is a sentence, a sentence is a group of words which gives us a perfect meaning for that particular statement. For example, if I say Sri Lanka Island is an, this is not a sentence because it is not giving us any of the meaning or anything is not coming out from this set of words. But if in the same place I'll be saying Sri Lanka is an island, which means there is a place and there is an island which is known as Sri Lanka. Yeah, Sri Lanka is an island. This means Sri Lanka ek island hai. So if you notice here is it's the framing of the words which is important. See, the places of the word is very, very important to frame a sentence. When these words are put together in a perfect manner, we get a sentence. Now, when I say we get a sentence, th the question arises, how do we uh, understand that the particular thing is a statement or a sentence? So, uh, you always have to take care about this by knowing that a sentence always begins with a capital letter and it can end up with a full stop, an exclamation mark or a question mark depending upon what is the type of the sentence. So in this chapter, we are going to be discussing the four type of sentences. So the very first given in your textbook is declarative sentences. What are declarative sentences? Declarative sentences are those sentences in which any individual or anyone is declaring a point or is telling a fact about that particular thing or an object or a place or a human. For example, I would say um, Amazon is a river. Okay. Now, this is a fact that Amazon is a river or you are a human being. We all are humans and this is a fact which cannot change. So the statements which gives us the facts which cannot change are known as declarative sentences and as the name suggests, it declares something about the thing which we are talking about. Again, the point which we have to remember is a declarative statement always ends with a full stop. It will not end up with a question mark or an exclamation mark. It will always end up with a full stop, whereas it will start up with a capital letter as all the sentences will do. The next and very interesting uh, part and the segment of sentences is interrogative sentences. Now, what are interrogative sentences? An interrogative sentences are those and also in this, the name it is suggesting itself is when you are interrogating about something, what is interrogating means? Interrogating means to acquire knowledge about something or to be in a question answer round about something. So the word interrogative means that you are questioning or digging out information about something. So interrogative sentences are those sentences in which you or anyone is asking a question about the subject. For example, uh, I say, I have a black pen. Now, when I say I have this black pen, this is a declarative sentence. I am declaring that I have a black pen. Now, is this a black pen? Now, I am asking this that is this a black pen? Now, what it becomes this declarative sentence becomes an interrogative sentence. I hope you are understanding 
because it's very very simple if you just keep a few things in mind that whenever you are asking a question about something the sentence becomes interrogative and whenever you are telling a fact about something the sentence is said to be declarative the second point which we have to keep in mind about interrogative sentences is interrogative sentences always ends up with a question mark so whenever you see and you have to find out whether the statement is interrogative sentence or not you also can look for a question mark in the end and if it is present there then of course it is a uh, interrogative sentence the third uh, kind of sentence which we are going to discuss is imperative sentences what are imperative sentences imperative sentences are those in which you are either commanding someone or you are requesting someone to do something for you or is or a third individual is doing the same scenario why i am using this term you is to make it more clear and to keep it quite brief for you to understand the major concepts so uh, what is an imperative sentence an imperative sentence in general will hold a command or a request for example give me the remote you are talking to your brother or your sister or your mother father anyone and you are requesting them to give you the remote or to give you a glass of water or suppose you are going outside the road and there is a policeman and he is telling you to go inside the house or stop there so what is happening is in this situation a person or a second or a third person is giving you a command or you are giving a command or a request so whenever any sentence involves a commanding or a request in which you are asking someone else or you are trying to attain or gain anything from anyone else in the form of request these uh, particular sentences become imperative and uh, this is a fact that imperative sentences also ends up with a full stop the fourth kind of sentences is exclamatory sentence what is exclamatory sentence you all must be aware about exclamations right whenever you are giving a general opinion or you are feeling amazed about something it is said to be an exclamation so uh, exclamatory sentences are those in which you are admiring something or you are uh, having a desire about something for example how wonderful this black pen is like i am expressing my gratitude towards this particular pen generally i am not i'm just using this pen as an example so it is just to make you all understand so now if i say if i say about this ring uh, let's uh, if anyone is uh, looking here and i can see how wonderful this ring is so it is like we are describing its beauty or we are describing up something about the pen so whenever we are describing something or and we are exclamating something it means that the particular sentence is exclamatory so i hope students you by now you have understood that what is the sentence and what are the four sentences we are dealing in this particular chapter and since there is nothing much in there i hope i have made my points clear to you all the notes for this particular video and for this particular chapter will be available on school mitra app you all are requested to firstly try to do the book exercises on your own and then you go to the school mitra app and download the answers and see how much you have done correctly because the more you will understand and the more you will try to do it on your own you will be benefiting from that so uh, this is it from my side and i hope you all have uh, like this video and you all have understood the concept of sentences and their kinds okay everyone bye and stay safe